So when I say women are the new niggas, they out here trying to hustle, out hustle, date, out date men. And a lot of them are a lot smarter than us. But exper experience, experience will teach you who's who. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody, even though everybody's different, you always can find something in somebody else. Like if you dated a girl uh, that was real jealous, and then you met another woman that was jealous, you'll be able to see her jealous traits that you saw in the other girl to know that when you see it again, to get away from it. Same thing with women. You may know uh, an abusive guy. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, raise his hand at you or jump at you or go to hit you. And if you've been in a, an abusive relationship, soon as you see this, you're like, oh, I'm going, I'm out, nigga. I'm not getting beat on again. You know what I'm saying? So you use your experience to maneuver through life. But I'm going to, same thing once again. Mellow, it was wrong, allegedly, if he did this. But we don't know where he's at in his relationship with his wife, and we don't know what his wife did to drive him to that lady, not saying that she did anything, not capping for him at all. But no, if that man was raw dogging this lady, he felt comfortable for some reason. Because he knew what can happen. Maybe he's done with the marriage. Maybe this is this will help him get out. Maybe he wanted to try to get a divorce and she didn't want to. You know what I'm saying? But man, when you when you when you when you get on TV and you just start showing your titties and doing sex scenes and, and stuff like that, you know, and you don't have to. You will drive your man over uh, to Becky with the good hair or Jackie with the fatty. You know what I'm saying? It, it just, it may happen, you know. I don't know. But this is what happens when y'all dudes get their bodies all fixed up and you, you, you take a, a, a five and you turn her into a dime and make other niggas want to. And other women wanna you end up like mellow. But I'm not gonna uh prejudge. Let's let's wait till the word come out. Let's see if they get in a divorce. Let's see if these kids are his. And I don't know, it's kind of I don't know. Love unconditionally. I'm telling you. For the women in my life, moving forward in my life, whoever I choose to deal with, trust me. If I'm dealing with them, it's because they got my mind and my heart. I don't deal with no dumb chicks. And I'm, 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 I'm a little better judging character. So when I do find the lady of my dreams, trust me, I'm not going to be worried about her cheating or this, that, other, because I already know. For the most part, most women are going to do what the hell they want to do when they want to do it. And they slicker at it. And <clears throat> you're more than likely you'll never know. Men, most men tell on themselves, honestly speaking. You know, most men tell on themselves. But for me, at this at this age in my life, I'm telling you, you if you if you're in your 20s right now, don't be worried about no uh marriage commitment. Focus on your career. 
Do that in your 30s. If you're in your 30s and you feel like you got it together and you know where you want to go and you where you want to be and you feel like you're with this person, say to yourself, can you be with this person and you walk in the room and he's sleeping with your best friend? If you can say yes to that, then that's the guy for you. Fellas, if you could walk in your house and your wife is sleeping with the mailman and you think that you can move on with life after catching with her and not kill the mailman because the lady brings that much more substance to your life, that one little slip up of emotion and she slept with somebody else is not a deal breaker. That is the woman for you. So when you get into relationships, put it this way. This is more or less somebody going to cheat. Yeah. Whether it's the man or the woman. At some point, somebody's going to cheat. Now, if you married and somebody's going to cheat, is that a deal breaker for you? Would you leave your wife if you found out today that she was cheating on you? Would you leave your man today, married or not, if you found out he was cheating on you? If you say yes, okay. You leave him, you go to the next relationship. And you're in it for 10 years. Then he cheats on you. Do you stay in that relationship? That 10-year relationship when you found out he, he cheated on you? Fellas, you've been with her for 10 years. You found out that she cheated on you. Do you leave her? Do the whole 10 years get thrown away because another man slept well or another woman slept well? Do you throw the 10 years away? Now, let's think about the couples that have been together for 20 years. You've been together 20 years. She done had a side nigga 10 of those years. And you find out. Or a woman. Or ladies. You've been in a relationship or married 20 years. And you find out this nigga got two, three kids with somebody else 20 years later. Do you leave him? Fellas, you been with your lady 20 years. Y'all got three kids. You find out the youngest kid ain't yours. And the kid is 15 now. Do you leave her? Anybody? Do you leave her, fellas? You find out the kid ain't yours after 15 years. Do you leave her? And there's the difference between love and unconditional love. 